what's going on guys it's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another video in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do the ducking effect inside of Final Cut Pro 10 and if you guys don't know what the ducking effect is the ducking effect is this right here let me go ahead and play it for you so I'm gonna go ahead and play it and just turn down the volume so you guys can't hear it through the echo what is going on guys it's King Touch Pro and this is an audio test to test out the ducking effect in Final Cut Pro 10 so that was pretty much the ducking effect and the ducking effect pretty much makes the background music or whatever is playing in the background much quieter so you could hear the voiceover on the actual video. But before we begin with the actual video, I want to go ahead and give a huge thanks over at Audioblocks for making this video possible. If you have never heard of Audioblocks, Audioblocks is the place to go to download music, sound effects, and instruments for your videos and projects. You guys can start your seven day free trial. A link will be in the description so you guys could check it out. They have a huge library of content available for you to download and it's royalty free as well. So you could go ahead and go over to browse and you could search for music, sound effects and loops for you to use on your projects and videos. So say you want to go over to genres, you can go over to blues if you want to download some blues music. And if you go over here, you guys could actually select a file. Maybe you want to download an MP3 file or a WAV file. You can go ahead and select it and it will download to your computer. Again, a link for that will be in the description so you guys can start your 7 day free trial. A link will be in the description to check out. So uh, you know, I've imported my audio into the timeline right here and here is my actual footage. Now of course once I play, you won't be able to hear my voice because the music is too loud. And I want to be able to hear my voice but because the music is too loud, I, you can't hear my voice, so let me go ahead and play it so you guys get an example of what I mean. So as you can tell, that you can barely hear my voice. Anyways, let's go ahead and select our uh, audio file here. And what we want to do is we want to select a certain area where we want to make the background noise much quieter. And that is very simple. So all you have to do is I want to select this whole entire part. And then right here is when I want to increase the volume again. So it's very simple. Press R for the range selection uh, or you know just click right here and then it should look like this. And then go ahead and anywhere right here, I'm going to do it like right here. So it kind of this is where I start talking. So I'm going to do it right there. So I'm going to click and drag to whatever part of the video I want to make uh, much quieter. So I'm going to just go ahead and drag it all the way. I don't know about right here sounds good so you know you made your selection inside of the video clip or the sound clip and once you've done that all you have to do is simply if you see this little line right here it's a black line you're gonna have two uh, arrows one is up and one is down go ahead and click to adjust the volume and drag that down to decrease it and then soon enough you should be able to hear your voice so I'm gonna go ahead and play in the beginning so you guys could see how it, uh, or hear how it sounds. What is going on, guys? It's King Touch Pro, and this is an audio test to test out the ducking effect in Final Cut Pro. As you can tell, it sounds pretty good, much better than before, of course. But you could always adjust it and make it much better. All you have to do is on these keyframes, you can actually drag, click and drag, and drag it to the right to. Uh, you know adjust it to however you like or all the way to the left if you want it to fade much quicker If you want it to fade much slower drag it all the way to the right But you have to keep in mind when you drag to the right this uh, You know decreases as well. So you want to keep that in mind. Okay, so I keep it around right here so it's kind of even on both sides and when you're ready to I don't know say this is the end you can actually fade this down and It will just fade completely down. So if I play it going on guys it's King Touch Pro and this is an audio test to test out the ducking effect in Final Cut Pro 10 you can see that you know it just completely faded but if we play it like this so it doesn't fade out I can go ahead and play it so you guys could hear how it sounds in Final Cut Pro 10. it just continues with my voice and you could actually hear it much better than before where all you could hear was just the music so you know, if this video helped you in any way, please leave a rating below. A comment would be much appreciated. If you guys want to leave a video suggestion, that would be awesome as well. And I will see you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out and take care.